I really, I really love coming to one because it, it's a very good, it's a very good atmosphere for kids my age and for people who in Laredo who are might not have a safe place to go or might not have a thing to do. It's a, it's a good place to meet people. It's a good place to develop our relationships and just hang out with friends and to learn more about God. I love Grace in general because it's just like a big family. It's not really like. Like, no one's just, like, left by themselves. Everyone's very friendly. One thing I like about one is, like, everybody's together and everybody knows each other. Like, even if they don't, like, they're going to, like, at the end of the day, they're going to be close to one another and know things that that person's best friend didn't ever know about them. And, like, you barely met the person. And it's kind of like an extended family. I love going to Edge every Sunday morning. It's just kind of how I wake up and I'm an early bird, but um, going to Edge every morning and being part of the welcome team, you know, setting up snacks and just talking to the kids, just a little bit of mingling here and there and just seeing their faces when they walk up and you're ready to give them their little paper and they're just, some of them give you kind of that, like that little shy smile like, hi, <laughs> but it's good seeing their their faces every morning and knowing that they're coming here for God and for their friends and growing in their fellowship. I love going to the edge because, I mean, like, being, um, being the light to someone younger than you, or being to the light to someone who like who has been in the same path and who is on the way to like high school and going through struggles that you went through through middle school is it fascinates me the fact that you can change their whole like perspective on things and they make me very happy. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> A reason that I like coming to one is. You get to learn affirm. You get to learn about God's word with other people and like people who are older than you and who know like what you're going through and who are going through different things in there. I like com I like coming to Grace because it's very different and it's very like fun. You learn a lot and um, just everyone's here so friendly and nice. And I think it motivates you more to be involved with Grace. Coming to one, uh, first and foremost, is they usually bring chicken McNuggets, which is always a good thing. And um, also that I get to lead the freshmen. And uh, one of the funny things about freshmen is that they're kind of so oblivious to some things. And uh, one of the things I feel like they're oblivious to is um, how much I'm growing through them um, and growing towards Christ, of course. Uh, and just Seeing them and just remembering back in the day when I was a freshman and just where they're at with Christ is just so encouraging and uh, really helps me a lot in pursuing God outside of church and uh, just better helping my relationship with Him so I can come back every week just knowing something that I didn't know the previous week. So yeah, it's a lot of encouragement. One has just been a really awesome place to get to learn and grow alongside these high schoolers. Um, it's just been really cool like for them to uh, teach me about just like their different struggles and for me to just be able to share with them and just learn alongside them and just for it to be a safe place where we can share our struggles. And My name is Rob and I'm the youth admin and then I also do help lead one of the small groups and, and it's been an honor um, to, to have the opportunity to sit and to talk with the kids, the students and to hear their stories and to be a part of an environment and a place where they can come and be honest about what they believe or don't believe, um, where they can be honest about the process 
um, about trying to live a life honorable to Jesus and and, um, and how that's difficult and it's great to walk with them through their questions and um, I love it and they've, they've uh, been a blessing to me. And um, I love one because um, it's an opportunity just to be with my friends like from school and um, just help them grow closer to God and that's really cool to see happen and um, I love helping at the edge because I know like because I've been there in middle school and it's cool to see um, them grow in their relationship with God and just like figuring out life. I guess God taught me this year just um, to be patient and um, just to really like turn to Him through like my stress with school and um, just friends. This year was um, very different. I came in not having much to go off of and not really knowing where this was going to take me. but. Through it, God just really showed me what compassion was and forgiveness because I think that's what I struggled with the most. Um, in Wednesday's uh, one group, they talked to us about a pitcher and a cup, and God's the pitcher and we're the cup, and He's just overflowing our love. And I love that now, learning from that compassion, I'm able to share it with others. And forgiveness is just, it's shown me different light and how it. It doesn't matter what you've gone through, what anyone's gone through, but like God's there and, and that's really what He taught me, to forgive others. <laughs> okay, the one thing that I learned this year <laughs> was to be a lot more friendly with people and to just have an open heart to other people's problems and to not be judgmental. What I've learned this year is that how many times you fail, God will always be there for you, and He'll help you throughout everything. Um, God has taught me a lot this year. Um, he's basically just opened up like my heart a lot more, and like my relationship with Him has grown a lot. So, this year, really in particular for me, was a big year for my spiritual growth. God has really, He's really given me a lot of new, like He's taught me a lot of new things. And one of the things that really stood out for me is that I need to I need to really love everybody. And I used to not do that a lot, but now I see like even if they're like completely opposite of me and even if they're completely different from me, I still need to love them and I still need to care for them. And if they're doing something wrong, I need to be able to tell them they're doing something wrong and be able to be there for them and to love on them. And that's one of the big things that's been challenging me this year is to be able to do that with everyone I meet and everyone I know and all my friends and all my enemies. Okay, so over this past year, I've learned multiple things, but um, if one thing stuck out to me the most, it would probably be my patience. Uh, I feel like my relationship with Christ has uh, made me grow a lot, and um, one of the things I would struggle with the most is just being impatient, of course. Um, for example, when I would talk to a friend about Christ, I wanted them to get what I was trying to give them right there on the spot. and. I didn't, wasn't going to leave that spot until they understood and agreed with what I was saying. But um, as I progressed in my relationship with Christ and, and grew, I understood that um, you know not everyone's going to get it at the same time or as quickly as it, um, someone else would. And uh, so God has helped me a lot just being patient and, and understanding that, that the relationship with Christ isn't dependent on us, it's dependent on, on the person, the individual, and Christ himself. Um, and just the relationship they have together is just not relied on me, but on Christ. So. Uh, hi, my name is Yasmin, and I'm the student ministry intern this year at Grace. And um, this year, I've just really enjoyed um, serving with the Edge and with One, and uh, with both my small groups with the eighth grade and the juniors, uh, junior girls. And um, it's just been a blessing to see them grow closer to God and um, connect with each other and just have awesome friendships develop. Um, 
and through that I've grown in my walk with God as well. Sophomore group and one of the things I enjoy is are the events that we have and I appreciated Epic Weekend so much. Um, I had the girls sleep over at my house and I was able to connect one on one with them and um, I felt like it also shaped my relationship with God and I enjoyed that a lot. The reason I started coming to church was because of my dearly beloved friend, Lexi Alexandra, singer of Garcia. <laughs> she brought me to church when in the seventh grade, and I think that like it changed me as a person, and like it made our friendship a lot stronger. And you now she's my bestest friend and my prayer partner and my. <laughs> I like that my family is a part of Grace because, um, well, your family is really like your support. Like, you're, I mean, God's your center, but they're like your center here on earth. And they're, um, they're always going to be there for you to work through the trials of life. And, um, and so it's just cool going through um, a relationship with God with them. And, just the process of learning.